Yeah. Good evening, everyone. My name is Matthew Long with the Matthews and Raymond Foundation. I'm the co-president. Uh, we're here tonight speaking on a, on a topic of holistic medicine. Uh, we have a special guest here tonight. Uh, the, uh, Co-president Clausel will introduce here momentarily. Uh, just to kind of let you know a little bit about us, we are a not-for-profit charitable organization. Uh, our goal is to promote social events, lecture series, wellness, and social development. We also offer uh, these social events focused towards the community, at large, young professionals, the youth, and various charitable causes. Uh, these lecture series are aimed towards current events in our community and the world at large. Uh, we have some other upcoming events. Our next lecture series will be in January. It'll be uh, an alternative look at 9-11. And uh, we'll also be having a discussion on uh, Malcolm versus Martin, uh, the goals or direction they had for America. Uh, we are still working on our charitable clothes drive for domestic violence victims, um, as well as we're going to be having a 5K run and a charitable basketball tournament here at the beginning of the year, too. And now, uh, set aside some time, here is Claus L. Matt. Thanks again. Um, just like uh, President Matthew um, mentioned, uh, we definitely have a lot of events. Make sure you come check out the um, lecture about the uh, alternative look of 9-11. Um, and also check out the discussion or the, the friendly debate of Malcolm versus Martin's views um, towards the future of America. Um, so today we're going to have a lecture on um, holistic versus conventional medicine. And uh, Mr. Um, Joel Judenow will give the lecture and I will introduce him as such. Um, Joel Judenow is a wellness coach, natural lifestyle coordinator, and a holistic health advocate and educator. He has been a teacher of adult health courses at Hillsborough Community College since 1993. Mr. Chute now emphasizes organic eating and holistic medicine instead of using conventional methods. Being in tune with your spirit, mind, medicine instead of using, um, is, and, excuse me, being in tune with your spirit, mind, and body is what Mr. Chute now believes are essential to a holistic lifestyle. Mr. Chute now has appeared over not 800 health talk radio shows since 2006. He currently lives in the Tampa Bay area and has two dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Chitna. Hello everyone. Uh, I'm Joel Chudnow. Joel Chudnow I am. I'm a servant to my children and to their children. I'm a servant to you and to your children and future generation. I urge you all to be advocates for three things. Clean air, clean water, and clean food. You can do all that by supporting, right here in Hillsborough County, our local holistic, our, our local uh, CSA, Community Supported Agriculture, the Sweetwater Organic Community Farm. Every Sunday from noon to four, we have a, a uh, Sunday market that's open to the public. Members come as well, but uh, you're all welcome to, uh, to come and uh, enjoy music, food, and purchase from vendors that sell organic food and other products as well. I give a tour of the Sweetwater Farm on the first Sunday of every month, January 2nd, will be my next tour. I hope uh, it's at 2 o'clock and I hope uh, you can free yourself up and join me. That's my commercial. I, uh, Clausel, uh, graciously uh, provided me with some delicious herb tea, ginger tea, so I'll sip from time to time. <clears throat> the subject is holistic health care as opposed to, or I'd, I'd like to say in conjunction with conventional medicine. 
I came to this subject 22 years ago because I got hit by the cosmic 2 by 4 I got sick. I got very sick. And I was very scared. And I didn't know where to turn or who to go to. And my health food store owner gave me some books to read on the subject of psoriatic arthritis and candida, yeast overgrowth. And uh, I went to my rheumatologist, my allopathic doctor, and he, a medical doctor that <clears throat> offered me one to try all of the 12 non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs for arthritis. And I said, Doc, I was here seven, six years ago. You took six ounces of fluid off my knee. And I tried three of those drugs and they made me sick. I read the physician's desk reference on the other nine. And they all had some level of toxicity, some side effect that uh, I don't want. And uh, I, I will... Uh, be interested in learning if you can teach me and be a partner with me what to do naturally without taking drugs in invasive therapy. I didn't want those drugs because they would harm my kidneys, liver, spleen, make me dizzy, can't drive a car. No, I'm not interested in that. Well, the doctor had one foot outside the treatment room door. He was had a busy practice. He had a lot of patients to see. He had given me three minutes in this conversation. I asked to be a partner with him. Or I asked him to be a partner with me and coach me and teach me what I can do to, even if there's no cure for arthritis, at least teach me how to suppress the symptoms enough to get back on the job, to get back into full activity. Well, he never gave me that time and uh, that was the last time I saw him because I found a doctor who did give me time, who was a medical doctor who integrated health care, such as Andrew Weil, Dean Ornish, Bernie Siegel, Dr. Oz, you may have seen. It's, out there in the, in the media now and on TV. <clears throat> so I've, uh, my perspective in getting well was to adopt a natural plan. If something was offered to me for a recovery with, that was factory formulated, laboratory formulated, or in boxes, bottles, and cans? No, it wasn't for me. I wanted to find a natural way and to consume my foods right from the earth. Organic foods, without pesticides, herbicides, and fungicides, without genetically modified modification, and without irradiation. They do a lot of things to our foods today that really isn't a good thing, and they do it without your permission or my permission. It's an experiment that's going on with genetically modified foods that they do not label them. And that's a big issue and a time-consuming subject on its own. So, I embraced holistic health care. I, I embraced nature. In my studies, Bernard Jensen said, nature heals best, but it heals slowly. So you've got to have patience. I had the patience, or I developed the patience. It took me a year and a half. I got my health back, so much to the point 